Good morning, everybody. Let's do a little talking from the shop this morning before I get started with my day. It's uh, about 5.30 a.m. A little bit late to be out here for me, but I knew you out here earlier. But, uh, <laughs> uh, let's start off with a little bit of knife talking. Still have all of these. are for sale and I have marked these down to $75 a piece and what I've decided to do I'm going to try to get the website updated by next week this style Jane L. Skinner with the antler tips and they uh, I'll go ahead and do neck or belt sheath on these until Christmas are going to be $75 Christmas special on uh, these four and any more you might would order but just with the antler tips because I'm just pretty much taking a beating on the leather alone uh, with that in time but uh, but that's okay we have to have some revenue in the shop not ask not begging anybody for nothing There is one of those out there, at least. But, uh, <laughs> and I will figure out a couple more knives to uh, put on Christmas special as well. Uh, the most popular knife I make, and these will be reclaimed steel. Because uh, I wouldn't be able to afford to do that if I have to buy steel and buy leather. It would be... I would love to give everything away, but I can't. Uh, maybe the camp knife maybe we'll run a special on it i'll decide here over the next few days and i've got plenty of reclaimed material that's not a that's not a problem the reclaimed material is just so much harder to work with because uh you got to clean it up a little bit get it cut out get it ground clean it some more get the rust off of it you know it just about 10 more steps to reclaim than it is knife steel out of the package so uh, but that's that's what I started with that's what I've done for the most part except for the last probably six or eight months I've been using the uh, regular knife steel but uh, the reclaim I use is uh, the old saw blades the old mill saw blades it's good stuff it's really good stuff so see, we'll do the J. Nell Skinners, the camps, and maybe one more of the skinning knife, maybe the Econo Skinner. Now, I'll get a couple of those made up and show you those if you hadn't seen them. Or a lot of y'all already have those. But, um, Christmas is coming up. I have a good bit of work to do for a friend of mine that I'm going to get started on uh, maybe today or over the next few days. And, uh, some trading that we've done and I've got to get his ready by Christmas so y'all think about Christmas and uh, if you want to order something please do it now the fishing pouches is another thing I'm going to put on special and I'll uh, have one of those cut out well, now those excuse me, are going to have to be pretty much made to order because whatever you want stamped on them as far as a name or animal stamps that kind of thing uh, and I think those are normally fifty dollars and I think I'll mark them down to thirty five dollars but I have to have ten dollars shipping on those so that's what one cost that want to fit in the flat rate box in US post office box and it's ten dollars and I think forty two cents is what it cost me to ship it so I'll have to charge that but uh $35 plus shipping on the fishing pouches uh, made to order and when I get all of it lined up and uh, show it all again I'll show you one of each things that I'm talking about so uh, there's that look else look what showed up in my shop Let's talk about something pretty 
is that not pretty? Alabama Damascus. Redneck skin pattern. And this is thin. This is, I think it's 90 thousandths. Yeah, 90 thousandths. It's not flexible thin, but it's a... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now, I have to make two knives out of this uh, for another trade, my buddy, and then I get the rest of it. Now, he wants a Blackfoot and a paring knife. Let me show you all the Blackfoot in case y'all hadn't seen it. Hang on wherever it's at. Hang on, I ain't run it run off. I can't talk there. Y'all remember that one? I made I think just a couple of these. That's the black foot pattern, that's the profile. And these are also going to replace the steak knives in my 10-piece sets. Because these will make uh, much better steak knives than the ones I was making. His will have a stag handle on it. That. Okay, I can get three out of here, so. I have his. No, actually... So, and I'll use whatever's left over but um, that is coming up I will start this today for sure as long as Will is working on the cookery I'll at least get these traced out and roughed out <coughs> so if you're interested in some Damascus here soon I'll have just a little bit <coughs> excuse me Let's see what else we need to talk about this morning. That's enough about knives for right now. Uh, thank y'all for watching that fishing video. We had a great time. Had a blast. I think the boat is, for the most part, ready to go. I don't think there's anything else I need to do to it. Of course, the here and there I'll do a little some doodads and gadgets, but uh. It's, uh, everything seems to be fine. I fixed the trolling motor yesterday. The uh, head on it would move. And motor guide in there, I'm telling you, whoever runs motor guide, same people that run forward, I think. Where the top cover, the cover head fits on there. I finally found a schematic that showed me what was in there. It's got rivets that hold it instead of a bolt, like most normal Minn Kota's. <coughs> and uh, apparently they used steel rivers for something that rusted off or broke or something or wore out. So I had to re drill some holes and put some stainless screws in there and it's good to go. And once I figured out what to do, it didn't take 10 minutes to do it. So uh, that's why if you look at it in the video, it looks, the motor looks cockeyed from what it should. That's why. But, it's, it's all straightened out now. Uh, Ten minutes, two screws and two little holes and good to go. Let's see what else. I know the economy stinks. I know a lot of people don't have a lot to spend. There ain't nothing to spend around here either. <coughs> but um, I've thought about all kind of stuff. Uh, to branch out and do something different, but uh, well, I'm just not able to do a whole lot more than what I'm doing. And um, <coughs> pardon me, I was hoping the YouTube channel would get big enough at some point where I could make just a little bit of money off of it, but that hadn't happened yet. I think that um, at 5,000 subscribers, I think your algorithm thing changes, and uh, you get more exposure. Or something like that. I'm really, I don't know how the technology thing works. I just, I honestly don't. Uh, I still struggle ed editing videos, what little bit of editing I do. And I thought about putting some music in there and this and that and the other, and 
but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep going like I've been going. Just turn on the camera and talk or show y'all what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me. My DIY videos, they always run long. 30, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. But I think that's important. So I can show you each step of what I'm doing. Because I watch a lot of them. And they'll speed it up real fast. Or they'll skip over parts. And I'm like, what did he do there now? You know, and that type of thing. So I'm, that's why those are so long. And if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. That'll help. If you would like to share my videos to anywhere else, go ahead, please. By all means, share it. Uh, I'm not going to stop making videos just yet. Uh, if it gets to the point where it's just not doing me any good, uh, I may just abandon the whole thing. Because it does take time. And I do get, just like everybody that does videos, I do I get comments that I don't want to hear. And I just have to weed through all of those. I try to get them all off there before most of y'all see them. But uh, subscribe, hit the like button. That helps with the interaction part. Uh, if you don't want to do that, well, thank you for watching anyway. You know, I mean, by all means, keep watching. But by subscribing to a channel, you have to have your own little channel deal set up to, to subscribe and comment. But that does not mean anybody is tracking you. Now, uh, people say, well, they might get my personal information. Folks, trust me, the government has your personal information. If they really want it, they've got it. Or the hackers and the, what do you call them? Uh, I guess hackers, spammers. All, they, they've got everything they need to know about you. And little guys like me, you know, and most of us who are not <coughs> in that great big high tax range, pay range they don't care nothing about us uh, we're normal folks we live week to week month to month and in my case I live knife to knife you know I mean that's just the way it is not complaining about it not come you know not at all that's uh, life happens the way it happens uh, no matter how much you prepare how much you plan when you're younger it takes one life-changing event and you'll be down here in the weeds you know <clears throat> and I have met people that uh, don't believe that way but uh, well, you should have done this 30 years ago you should have done that well I did all that I've actually had two life-changing events that wiped us out. So, uh, I mean, but like I said, not complaining. It just it happens. It's life. So, uh, I don't know what got me off on that tangent, but <laughs> anyway, I just try to stay as positive as I can, as happy as I can, and have a good time doing what I do. And. What was I even talking about? See, when you start getting old, your mind just sort of goes off here and there. But, um, may go out fishing again Friday. I don't know yet. Uh, me and Stump talked about it. <coughs> My buddy Greg, that's his new nickname. It's a Stump. But all he can do is catch stump knockers and actual stumps in the river. So. <laughs> Good guy, good fisherman. Fun to hang out with. Trying to get my big brother Larry, trying to get him back up here. Or either trying to get me down there to his place and uh, do some fishing with him. It's, um, that's, that's a unrealistic trip for me right now. Even though it's just about, I think, 700 miles. But... <coughs> Y'all excuse me, every time start talking too much but uh anyway we'll see i've said before i don't like to get slammed on knife orders at christmas 
but this year is going to have to be different. Y'all slam me if you will just order, order, order. I'll do everything I can to get everything done. <coughs> Finally get the shop set up like I want it. I've got all the tools I need. See, the first couple years, well, the last few years, I've been buying tools here and there, and that's expensive. You know, tools are expensive. And uh, everything, you know, a lot of things to make things easier for me. But then we all know what happened two years ago. We won't go into it, but uh, you all know what happened, as well as I do. Everything was rolling right along there, and all of a sudden the economy just, boom, gas prices go that way. And I don't know what to believe. I watch a couple of the channels on YouTube, the so-called news channels. You can't hardly watch some of these other channels anymore. The clickbait is just awful. Three days to live. Buy this food now. I sell it. Y'all know what that is. Nuclear missiles have been launched. And uh, if you click it and look at it, well, no, it's, they're not launched anything. They're running drills. Oh, this crap's been going on for since I was in elementary school that I can remember. With Russia versus U.S. And nukes this, nukes that. Hopefully it never happens. <coughs> Excuse me. But if it does happen, what can we do about it? Nothing. So don't stress over it. <coughs> Excuse me. Dang it. But anyway, I'll shut up for this morning. I got to, uh, I'll go in and post this up right quick and have one more cup of coffee. And I'll get out here and, uh, and get some kind of work done. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the next after the next fishing trip, if we catch a good mess of fish, I've got something very cool to show y'all. It's not mine; it's loaned to me, but uh, and I'll tell you the story behind it. But it's very cool. All right, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. Please, if you haven't already, if you don't mind, uh, subscribe, give me a like, share the videos, order some knives. Remember, I've got these. Check out the website. Link will be below. It, like I said, I'm gonna try my best to get uh, to get Ricky Jr. to uh, update it for me by next week. I've got to wait till he has time, cause he has a very high level, high stress job that uh, keeps him very, very busy. And I don't want to weasel in on his family time, you know, to, to help me do something. But he's the only one that can do it. Because he set the side up, he's the webmaster, and I have no clue how to do that. So, <laughs> all right, I'll hush. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see y'all in a couple days.